Good morning, guys. It's Jules. Thanks for coming back for another stitch along. <coughs> Today, we are going to do Boba Fett. I uh, got some progress done on it this week. I actually finally went and got all the little threads and stuff that I needed um, to work on this piece now. And it's all like so many different shades of blue, but that's the pattern. I mean, it's like blue, blue grays, bluish whites. Um, so there's just a lot of that kind of thing to do on this. So that's totally fine. It's very different, which since I like blue, that works. But um, hope you grabbed your project that you want to work on. Let me get a few of these distracting, noisy things out of the way. Oh man, hope you guys are having a good weekend. I am nice and relaxed, having a really good weekend. Nice and relaxing. But it's, uh, what month is this? Well, it's, what, April tomorrow? So that's awesome. We, uh, have plans with um, meeting some old friends for lunch and then we're meeting a bunch of our other friends for dinner so there's not a ton of time to get this video done today if I don't do it now and it was perfect because I got up super early and I was in the mood to stitch and I'm like I want to work on Boba Fett and so but I have news I have news guys I got a new project it's a new Star Wars project. I shall reveal it on the Thursday video, but let me just say that I really like it. <laughs> I always look, I keep looking for um, more uh, Star Wars stuff just because, I mean, my husband loves it and I love it and it's just, there's so much of it out there that is good. And so uh, we uh, found another one. Thankfully, my husband talked me down from getting the other two that I thought were kind of cool. He's like, nah, nah, nope, do that one right there. So I was like, all right, good. So, how are you guys? Life good? I hope life is going all right for you. I took most of the day off yesterday for a, what, what do they call that? A personal... Personal day, personal sanity day, I don't know, something, uh, just to kind of give myself a little extra free time. Um, had, had nice, uh, got a lot of little errands done. I don't really have anything I have to do this weekend other than meeting friends, so that works out pretty well. So we're just going to work a lot on the two or three different colors today while we're doing this stitch along and then I might put this down for the rest of the week because I have done a fair bit. Well, by the time I'm done with this, we will have done a fair bit. And so, and I think by the end of the stitch along, it might become a bit more obvious where we are at. I will show the picture on Thursday so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like, but I have high hopes for this project looking amazing. I think it shall. thing going on. Start coughing like a maniac last night. I took some medicine and I was doing a lot better afterwards. It's just residual inflammation, a touch of allergy. We've been having we've been having snow actually. Um, it snowed earlier in the week. We got four or five inches which was nice and then um, we got a dusting again and it's been good but it melts so fast and then when it melts it just turns into um, allergy season. Boop, boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. 
But let's see, what have I done this week? Um, since the video, what have I worked on? Rainy Waterloo Place got a lot of progress, and that's been put down for the week because I got a lot of progress on that one. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a fair bit of work on this one. Um, baseball got some work done on it. I still need to get some more done so we can still see where the cool part of the chart's coming up. Um, and that's, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I, um, I stitched a fair bit on Thursday, but it was really just kind of getting this project started. Um, I mean, this is different for me. I mean, well, that's not different for me. It depends on how long you guys have been watching me do my stitching, but you know, I, I'm, most of the time I'm doing full coverage pieces and this time I'm not, this is, this is definitely not full coverage. So I gridded, which gridding is insanely important on a project like this just so you know kind of where you're at and it speeds it up so much because I can see the relations of things and know where I need to stitch next you notice I had a little cheat mark there so that's um stitch count number 70 and that helped me because like literally like this is one page no wait this is one page and then this is another page and I have them both up here to work on um but you know, just in terms of finding finding little tricks and, and things to help you maybe, um, well, gosh, I need to stitch faster. <laughs> stitch faster. And uh, are you ready to go out? Okay, hold on. Cat got trapped in the room with me. Cat doesn't want to hear about cross stitching. All right, there you go, buddy. Later, Gator. Oh, I thought I'd close the door. <coughs> a little privacy privacy but anyway boom, 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 boom. but so far I really like this piece um, there's not a ton of colors let me show you this isn't the black and uh, this is the black and white color chart I have a colored one it's downstairs, but this is basically all blues. Like all that is shades of blue right there. And it's kind of, it's kind of funny because it like, it lists the numbers. I, I blocked this out because this is like, just like number stitch one through, so there's 35 different colors, right? And then these are all the symbols. And these symbols are actually quite easy to pick apart from each other. So they did a really good job with it. And then over here, it's the code. So it's got the floss number through here. It actually has the stitch count. Uh, through here and then how many skeins of floss you need and thankfully it's all just one so um, So it's it was actually laid out really really nicely and I appreciate that because they they did then they did this You know lowest number through a highest number um, and then made this match and so it's I You can tell that this was done by somebody who actually cross stitches. So it was very very um, Very well laid out very well laid out and if you guys are interested, just let me know in this pattern. I can link you to the uh, site. It was on Etsy. I just searched Star Wars cross stitch on Etsy, and uh, that's where I find my stuff. I haven't really gone beyond Etsy to look for Star Wars cross stitch, primarily just because the best stuff when it comes to people creating their own work seems to be on Etsy. So, at least in my opinion. Oh, I got a snack. Oh, I got a snack. Oh, not anymore. So if I told you guys about my sunflower seed addiction that I'm going through right now, it's way better than like the peanut M&M addiction um, and the other chocolate candy addiction that I have been on before. Okay, hold on. Where am I? Where am I? What's going on? You know what? Let me highlight here while I start telling this story. Um... So I, I can't remember why I got back into it, but um, just decided to get a bag of sunflower seeds not too long ago because I just wanted something to nibble on. I like to have something, you know, to, to do. And if, I, um, if I'm nibbling on that, then sometimes even if I'm hungry, I'll just nibble on some sunflower seeds and, and that'll, that'll make me not hungry anymore, which is perfect. Um... That's pretty decent there. Uh oh, what what's coming up? What what? And um. Okay, where am I? What 
what's going on. Did I do that right? Ah, tuck in. Tuck in. Mm, one, two, three. One, two. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? Or whatever they call those things. One, two, three. the what what sniffing at the door perfect all right there we go the light's not perfect today I, I i think it's because i literally have gotten in here a bit early it's like 7 30 i got up at like 6 30 yesterday i uh i was like oh, i just let myself sleep in i was gonna let myself sleep in until like i don't know like 7 15 7 30 normally i set my alarm for about 6 30. um i do a lot of stuff in the morning and uh nope i was i was like well i'm only gonna be in work for just a little bit and i got up at 5 30 and did a bunch of cleaning before i left the house which was actually quite good because then i got almost everything done that i thought about doing today so perfect it's going to be a stitchy weekend, my friends. A stitchy weekend. You know, so I got the... I got this cruise thing coming up. Honeymoon cruise. Honeymoon that... For my marriage that's almost two years old. <laughs> Is it a honeymoon or a vacation? I'm still calling it a honeymoon cruise. I think that's the more appropriate way to look at it. Um, and uh, I've been thinking I might actually take Boba Fett instead of Ronnie Rowe with me. Just because it's just more colorful. I think I would be more inclined to be working on it more. Tightening up that stitch over there. That looks a little better. Um... But we'll see how far along I get. Rattler. Oops. Oopsie. <clears throat> Wah. Wah. Stay on target. Stay on target. My husband was watching, um, uh-oh, got a little bit of a snag there. Let's just cut that out since it's so in close to the end there. Um, but he was watching, it was on, pretty sure it was on YouTube or something, and it was like the rough cut of Star Wars from 77. So it was like no sound effects, um, no alien languages, no music, with no editing. Everything was, well, rough, very rough editing. Everything was kind of thrown together. And, um, man, it was bad. It was just, I don't know if you guys, and, and I, I think I've told this story before, but there is a story backed up by a lot of people that talk about how when Lucas, you know, when he was trying to put his movie together and he was trying to, um, you know, edit it and whatnot, he had to bring in help because it was like a three-hour movie and it was somewhat incoherent and just not good at all in telling a story and um you know he had a lot of ideas but he just didn't know how to put them together and which has been true for his whole star wars creation life there and um so they brought in like a couple of different people who basically went in and just bare bones the story and ripped it down into a you know the adventure tale that it ended up being they literally like if they hadn't gone in there and done that we never would have we never would have known about star wars makes you wonder what other things that could have been great that just weren't that they'd had a little extra help would have been pretty pretty amazing but that is just life i suppose
don't know if you guys can tell, but this is sort of the top of his head. He's got that little antenna or something that comes up. That still needs to all be filled in, but um, that's what this is, basically. Can't wait to show you guys the new project. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so cool looking. Oh, sunflower seed addiction. Gosh, I got off on that tail, didn't I? So, um... So I like the whole sunflower seed, like, well, like the ones that come with inside the nut or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Inside the shell. There, here we go. And, um, cause I just like rolling around my mouth, you know, I got the salt or whatever flavors there are. And then, um, I, uh, break it open with my tongue and, you know, just, it just, it just gives my mouth something to do. And like I said, if it occupies me enough, I'm not hungry and all this other stuff. But anyway, so, um, there's like a shortage or something in my little area of my favorite. Um, I either like the low sodium um, ones or I like, oops, here we go, or I like the kettle corn or the kettle uh, ones. I've tried a few other flavors. They're gross to me. And so I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to eat anything else. And you know, I could eat like roughly almost like a bag a day kind of thing. And um, I was just having a hard time finding them. And so finally I ordered, I ordered some off of Amazon. Of course, they, you know, you can't get them in like, you know, a couple bags. You got to buy like a box. And so my box came in. So at least now I have some to last me for a while while I'm waiting for, I suppose there's sort of like a up season and down season when it comes to uh, sunflower seeds. I just haven't uh, ever paid attention to it before. So what? I'll just make I'll just make do. Just make do. I'm thinking about them. I'm getting hungry. Whoops. There you go. Well, that's not perfect, but that's okay. There we go. All right, hold on. I'm going to highlight, and then i got to move the page. Appropriately, I'm using a blue highlighter for this project. Show me where I've been. Oh wait, am I moving the page? Oh yeah, I'm moving the page. There's a lot of highlighting. Alright. This over here. Look on this over here. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to hit that. Okay. Because the unfortunate thing is that the new page literally starts like right here. So it's not quite even, but that doesn't matter. It's okay. Okay. We're just going to go down. We're going to go down. See, sometimes I stitch horizontal. And sometimes I stitch vertical. You just never know. Got to be a little flexible. Supposed to be a beautiful weekend. Highs in the low 60s, little wind, mostly sunny. Not too bad. Not too shabby.
working. There's no supervision. What are we gonna do? Highlighter. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab a highlighter here. Cocoa Puff. Hold on. Brink. Who grabs the dog? Oh, hi, Fargo. I wasn't expecting you. Come here. Oh, I still think that's what blood out there. Ah, oh, my. Oh. It's Fargo. Hey, Fargo. Yeah, he's cute. He's also troublemaker number one in this house. He's the instigator for everything, and I do mean everything. Now, Fargo, no, you're not getting the cat food. I know that's why you came in. So back out. 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 Good boy. Out. Fargo, out. Oh, hi, cat. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Cat's like waiting for him out, outside the door. So. <laughs> All right, Fargo, you're safe for a little while, buddy, but no cat food. That's too funny. Literally, we open the door and the cat's like sitting right outside the door and it's like, uh-oh. He's not happy. It's kind of funny, though. Uh, one of the best things we did for the kitty for Mercury was uh, getting a, uh, like a window seat. I kind of... Uh, hangs on the side of the windowsill and it screws in the base so it's very strong for him because he's like 15 pounds we have a little step thing that he can get up and use to get to the top and he in the mornings he loves it because he can just kind of sit in the sun and when the weather's nice wait uh oh when the weather's nice he can um even um we can open the window for him so he can get the breeze he can uh you know, just enjoy himself out there. And uh, so it works pretty well. It works pretty well. Here we go. Let's see here. Where are we? Aha. Uh -huh. It's weird how the light still just isn't that good. I think um, the sun will rotate, will continue to rotate, and over the next month or so, it'll rotate to a point where it'll be um, much better sunlight in the morning in this room for this kind of thing. So my big question as I'm, as I'm recording this is, will my camera allow me to shoot longer than about 28 minutes at a time? It has problems sometimes with doing that. It's very touchy. Well, I shouldn't say touchy. I like you camera, or I like you phone, don't worry. It's, um, I just don't always understand why it shuts itself off. As I say the words, I'm like looking to make sure it doesn't doesn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. I was like, did I lose my place? I don't think I lost my place. There we go. Yes, a lot of stitching. And I am 
trying to get myself organized. I actually created a whole new, um, I had a, a new f uh, box of floss that I created for this, for this stormtrooper, pro or stormtrooper, sorry, for this project. Um, and, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to go down here. There we go. And, um, So I had a whole nother um, thing made up. And it's really, because it's only, what, what did I say, 35 colors? Um, it doesn't seem like a lot compared to <laughs> most of my other projects that I'm doing. But, um, I mean, Rainy Water Replace has less colors. So the less the colors, the easier it is to work with because the more you can stitch at any one time with one color. So there is, there's a lot of little individual things up here that will slow things down a little bit, but that'll be for more fill in work but it's all good everything's okay sorry I'm just staring okay I can stitch this right here right yes I can I'm starting to lose a little bit of where I'm at don't say that I think I'll switch colors once here, um, just to have something different to pop out here. I got a highlight. I got a highlight, guys, or I'm going to really lose my place. Wonder Bar. Let's see here. Where am I? What is my name? Where do I live? It's a pretty d decent amount of stitches for like the first week while I'm kind of getting used to it. First week of a project usually is the most difficult in a lot of ways just because of uh, getting used to the, the way the pattern works and the color scheme and you know, but it's coming along nicely. cat's like outside the door meowing like hey what are you doing in there eat my food uh, I'd like to come in before I go ahead now just he's crept under my legs he's like please don't let the cat get to me I'll be a good boy I promise he has no shame though he says those things but I know it doesn't really mean him I 
That's okay though, because he's a sweetie. He's a cuddler. If he just wasn't a piddler. I call him my little piddler on the roof. But it's also piddler on the chair, piddler on the other dog's stuff. Yeah, he has vendettas. He's my little chihuahua vendetta. Can you kind of see it coming in? All right, I'm gonna switch to part two. <clears throat> Starting up part two. That sounds like Bailey being upset downstairs. She'll get over it. She probably sees a squirrel outside. A squirrel. All right, I'm gonna switch up colors here. Fargo, the cat is not gonna come and kill you. I protect you. Let's see here. What color would be good that you guys would be able to see? Uh, let me go to like a darker color and see. The old 823. Chink. Bonk. Still having light issues. You know, when the, when the dogs are peaceful, like, you know, before a couple minutes ago, it's quite nice. Quite nice. Everybody gets along. Everybody has a good time. It's all good. All right, we're going to shift back to this part and fill in a few things here and there. Whoops, I dropped my scissors. Thankfully not on the chihuahua's head. You would have heard that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just wondering why my light's so bad. Because it doesn't seem like it's bad. Let me adjust things a little bit here. It's like there's so much shadow. If I take this light off, nope, if I take that light off, you really can't see. Let me move it back a little bit. I hope you guys can see that. It's It seems bright in here, just when I'm looking at this, I don't feel like it's as bright as I want it to be. But, sometimes we just make do. Oh, here we go. Maybe if I just tilt it towards the light, that's a little bit away from me, but you guys might be able to see it better. Or if I just... Ah, come on, Jules. There we go. Get my focal distance set up here. This right here. Oops. Pulled something through. Ah, uh, and I didn't tie that down. Yeah, I'll fix that a little later. I'm gonna fix this part right now. But where am I? 
Nope, still haven't fixed it. There, let's go. There we go. out of the way. Alright, sometimes when I get like a tiny little snag, I'll just trim it back. And it's gone. Yay! Hmm. I'm just looking at something. What am I doing? Where am I going? What's my name? Okay, hold on. That one up there. There's two up there. Yep, that's right. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it down. I'll get it down. There we go. Probably if I readjusted the direction of my desk but I'd have to switch everything around between different shoots, and I could do that. There are some weeks that I just don't give me a couple extra steps on a project because that way it might not get done. My effort level may not be there. I give myself that allowance. I'm very busy and I do a lot. So if I can't always Get there. I'm gonna get there eventually. We took another, well, we're gonna take another big load to Goodwill soon here. Continued cleaning of the crazy stuff. Let's see, one, two, one, two, one. There. One, two, three. yep, there. So I'm going to show you another little cheat that I do from time to time, guys. So I made a mistake on this little section here, and I filled in um, some color areas that I shouldn't have. And so I'm not going to go back and undo all this. You know, it's this project is for us. I, I know that all my cross stitches are filled with little tiny mistakes here and there, and I don't, I don't sweat it. I don't worry about it. You know, it's... It's not about being perfect, it's about enjoying what you're doing. And so what I found is that if I can do little tricks to, excuse me, to still be faithful to the pattern as much as I can and make it still look good, that it's not gonna be visible to anybody who doesn't know what they're looking at. So what I need to do is just put this color over this color. And it may not it may not have made a difference in the final product. Like I may not have realized that, but that's what the design called for, so I'm put a little color right there. And it's you know, from a distance you wouldn't be able to tell. So I gave up caring about that a long time ago. I just did. I am all about enjoying things, you know what I'm saying, guys? Don't get crazy. All right. So I'm gonna do this. Come up here, tie this off. I gotta do a little bit more section up here. I'm gonna do a little bit up here. 
I think we'll probably be done for the stitch with me. Stitch along, stitch with me, stitch something. Stitch something with me. Um, <laughs> And I'll probably be done with what I'm going to work on with Boba Fett for the week. And this will be what it, what it shows. I vaguely see. You have to have some, uh, what's the word? I don't want to say imagination. Uh, I don't know. I mean, imagination probably works, but uh, I don't know. Should I do a little bit more, guys? What do you think? I kind of want to stitch one more color, or at least partially skip, stitch one more color. Let me do this, and then let me look at this. Let me see what I got here, guys. Part of me not wanting to end the video is just because I don't want to stop stitching this piece. But I've got to do things, you know? I've got things to do. What colors did I bring up with me? Okay. That's a little lighter. All right. You convinced me. I'm going to do a little bit more. Because I just want to see it come together. Come together right now. My singing voice hasn't come back yet. Which is a sad casualty of the sickness. Okay, so we're gonna do our little we're actually gonna do we're gonna focus a little bit more over here because there's more is there more to do right here? No, I'll tell you what, let's be consistent. Let's start over on the left and see what we need to each. Right there. There we go. Hockey playoffs are getting ready to start. So my Blues friends out there, got to tell you guys, at this point, I'll be honest with you, I don't want the Blues to make the playoffs. I'm sorry if that upsets anybody, but the thing is, is that I feel like it irritates me when they just, it's like they just make the playoffs every year and then they don't, I know last year they won a series and got knocked out by Nashville, but I don't know, there's something that's just not right about the team this year. It was right in the beginning and then now it's not right. I'm not sure if I like the coach. And I just don't feel like we necessarily, I, I tell you who deserves to be in it, it's Colorado. And I'm not just saying that because obviously I live here, but you go from one of the worst records in the history of the NHL to basically making the playoffs the next year, that's pretty incredible. And uh, I, I definitely would, I can get behind that, you know, I can support that. It's a great story. I'm going to actually come down here and do this one down here. But, um, uh, you know, and if they made it, would we go? I don't know. It depends on who they're playing. I've never been to a playoff game before. So, um, you know, back when Colorado was consistently good, I 
don't think I lived here at that time, so it's been a long time. But I'm, uh, I'm rooting for him. Definitely rooting for him. So, sorry guys. Especially when uh, they win, they beat the Blackhawks 5 to nothing last night, and then... Um, you know, it's going to, they're playing the last game of the season. They're playing um, St. Louis here in Colorado. And I thought about going, but it feels like no matter what happens, I'll be disappointed. Um, I mean, I'll be happy if the Avs win, but then, I mean, I'll still be disappointed to see the, the Blues be done for the season. You know what? You just can't make me happy, can you? You just can't. I just can't be happy. No, I can be happy. I just... I think it would mean so much more to the Avs to make the playoffs with the young team that they have. So, let's go Avs. What are you doing down there, Mr. Licking the Boards? You don't have to eat the trash anymore, dog. There's food. He, he looks up at me with these big watery eyes. While he's licking his mouth of who knows what. I don't want to know. All right, we're going to come back up. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, there we go. Baseball season starting. Not a baseball fan, guys. Not a baseball fan. I find it. I. I don't. I don't mind having it on, but it's just so slow. It's just so slow. I just can't handle it. I mean, the day that they actually get the whole pitch count, um, the timer to like tell them how long they have between pitches. That's gonna be a good day, cause it is just. Oh, it just takes so long. And I know for some people that's part of the charm of the sport, but uh, I just find I lose, I have so many other things that I can be watching that I just find that I lose my, um, my focus. That's my fault, I know that, but that's just why it's not as appealing to me. Doesn't jive. Uh oh, Tommy's growling. Can you hear that? That's not a good sign. That's a sign that says, finish stitching before you tell I'm hangry. No, I won't, I won't be hangry when I'm stitching. It'll be all good. But I will finish up with this color, and this time I promise. This just adds a little bit more depth to the color scheme here. It's a good place to end. I think. Look at that. I just put that in darkness. You guys couldn't see it. I'm sorry, guys. You're all yelling at the screen. Turn it to the light. All right, guys. Last ditch. I hope you got some stuff, some progress done on yours. It's fun stitching with you today. Definitely made some good progress on this one. I'll go downstairs and pick out another project to work on this morning. See which one distracts my fancy. Really, out of, like, I've got a pop carry shop pages pulled out. I just got to figure out which page, because I have um, 
I have the, the like the upper left page and then I have the next page below that so I want to find the next page below that so but I don't have the sometimes it gives you like a gridded scheme to say okay this is page one two three four five six seven eight nine you know that kind of thing I don't have that so I have got to just double check and make sure that I get the right page and that takes a little concentration which means I got to eat before I do that so anyway thanks for sticking around with me oh, stomach's getting so loud <laughs> you guys have a great rest of your weekend and happy stitching I'll see you soon